design and the layouts and all this lighting that we're using in here, we had to get a couple of outlets put in there. That's why this was done during framing, so it wasn't a big deal for them to do. In today's world, really, if this was done by a client after market, it could have been done the same way. Electricians could come in and get the electrical and come off of one outlet that's already in the house and tap into that. Opening up walls and, you know, retexturing them and painting them is all part of the remodeling business, so it's not that big of a deal. That's the vision that you have to have, and, you, and then we send those designs and we actually send them measurements to the electrical company or to the designer and they make sure that the electrical company gets it. I pretty much took the ring on this and made sure that we get it to the right people and had someone sign off so that we didn't have an issue down the road saying, uh oh, the electrical didn't get it. And yeah, electrical had to be put in certain locations so that when this closet is final and finished and people are walking through and the customer's using it that they're not seeing the outlets. In this instance here, we left uh, we left it to the closet. So her closet she has a remote control that she can use and on and off also dim and brighten mm -hmm. and also in his closet same functionality only he's working off a separate remote and then we had one in the pantry and so there's many ways that we can do that you can do it off a remote you can make it a part of your light switch so there's many ways of this this can be worked on an app off of your phone so there's various things that can be done so that you have the capabilities of doing this Smart home technology, of course, is huge.